What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 11 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we complete the fifth gym and in today's video, we're going to be making our way to Candlelave City and towards the sixth gym. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But in order to go to Cantilave City, we got Fly. We just got to head to Jubilee City. It's the quickest route. Quickest way to get there. And the levels are starting to even out. We versed the last gym and their highest level was kind of pretty much on par with us. So it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty fun to actually train up our Pokemon and get after this game that way. But uh, let's head down this way. I think we just got to head straight to the left. And this lady over here is going to be like, hey, like... What's going on or something? Let's see. I don't think she lets us through here. Oh, it's not ready yet. So we have to go up. I think it's up to the right. Let's bring on our bicycle here because, you know, we get cooking with our bicycle. Loving it so much. But yeah, I've been having a blast playing this game. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm super, super close to having competitive teams ready for you guys. This actually might go up before or after we have competitive videos out for you guys because I've been grinding it and I have a little, a few of these videos ahead of everything else but let's talk to this lady right here we do have surf we did unlock surf which is very very good so now we can actually make our way towards the next city and this is our first time using it and i think surf in this game is very very cool like just look at it It looks very very sick who's in our lead first of all who's our lead pokemon i'm gonna actually switch over to torterra real quick and then we'll swap back into howling because we got some of these water guys right here who i don't really feel like dealing with for too long but Kennelave city isn't too far like it's legit right over this water we're probably versus the six gym today i believe the six gym steel so that can work well for my Arcanine. Oh, not my Arcanine. <laughs> I'm actually uh, breeding a competitive Arcanine. That's why I'm saying that. But uh, it's going to work well for my Houndoom and my uh, my Torterra because we do have EQ on him, which is wonderful. And it's kind of rough, yo. Gyarados is over here. I could bring out my Togethic here, but I think Gyarados should be able to hold his own pretty well here. So let's get after it. Let's get ripping off with him. He does intimidate our physical attack. Luckily, we are rocking with a special attack move such as Mega Drain. And I didn't even see the level of this Gyarados. 29. Yeah, we should swap him. This thing is soaking up. He's going to drop a rain dance. Oh, no. Not a rain dance, man. Rain dance is looking tough. But, yeah, we definitely got to swap him. He's more on the physical side over here. Mega Drain isn't really that good anymore for him. So, let's actually swap out into... Let's just get Togetic out here. It's one of the reasons I put Shockwave on this Pokemon. Is so we can double on some flying type Pokemon until we get our next guy. Or, it wouldn't be our next guy. It would be our last Pokemon. Our last Pokemon is really going to be our flying coverage. He's going to be able to hit, hit up hard on our flying Pokemon. But Shockwave coming out here. Yo, get him after him. Oh my god, yo. Togetic. Togetic. And I don't think this video, but the next video, we will have our fifth Pokemon for a squad. And we should be able to evolve a Togetic at that time. Which will be amazing. Who wants to run? Oh, Tortel wants to run Synthesis. Don't want to replace anything. What other moves does he have? He does have growth. We don't really use growth. I think Synthesis is going to be the way to go for this one. I think Synthesis is our best bet. I am liking that. Tortara low on HP. We'll just heal him up ourselves. We don't have to stop the battle for a potion or anything. I really do like that. And especially if Sunset, which probably won't be, but still. I think that's a good, like, little competitive thing. But Gyarados is going to come out here yet again. We might as well keep Togetic out here, or we were going to be here a while. But we're going to be here a while. Timmy going to drop nothing because we're special attacking. I'm going to come out here with another Shockwave, and I think we can one tap it. Four times super effective. Yeah, yo, Togetic, yo, I'm loving this Pokemon. I remember, I remember when we first got Togepi, I'm like, bro, this thing is going to be a bear to actually level up and evolve. Like, dude, he could do nothing. Togepi did nothing. Had ancient power for five moves, and we get, like, one kill, and I would have to swap him out. Now this thing is an absolute monster. Uh, we have this fisherman over here. Who I do want to battle? I kind of want to do everybody on the route. So let's rip him up, get after it this way, and roll out strong. But, uh, let's see who he goes out. Oh, he has five Pokemon. Are they all Magikarps? They're going to be all magic arms. Yo, why did I burst this guy? Why did I burst this guy? That is super rough. Why did we burst this dude? <laughs> this is going to be awful. Let's drop a nice, lovely little Mega Drain. Coming in hot. Get this thing on out of here. Dude, this, this is awful. Don't like it one bit. Don't like it one bit. I, mean, I don't mind bursting, like, Magikarp. But, like, when there's five of them and they're all giving me, like, 100 XP each... It's just awful. Okay, Gyarados coming out here. This, this is like what we like to see. It's what we like to see. I don't mind versus Gyarados because we get more levels out of it, but gotta use Togetic up against us. Gotta run our Togi. Our Togi Wogi over here. Run it. Now, can it one tap a level 31 Gyarados? We one tap to level 29, no problem. 31, I think you might have got a nice little HP boost and a special defense boost. So let's see how this one plays out here. Shock, Shockwave flying through here. Togetic. Chill on him. 
Doing work. I do got a pretty competitive Gyarados. Gyarados is phenomenal. Really, really good Pokemon all around. Happening. Oh, do we still have Happening in here? I totally forgot to actually like swap out Happening. This thing just gets absolutely just. It's just getting levels here. By the time by the time we take it out, it's gonna be like fully leveled up. It's gonna be nasty. We should just throw it on our team at that point. <laughs> what Magikarp's gonna go down here? Is he gonna go back to another Gyarados? Let's see how this one goes. Togetic first to level 40. He wants to learn follow me. Oh, do follow me is so good, but we're not gonna be using it here. Follow me is such a good competitive move. I am building a Togekiss with that on it. It's just a monster with it. But he's gonna send out Carp. Carp, 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 Carp. <laughs> good old Magikarp. Can't go wrong with him. Shockwave's gonna fly. And yeah, Magikarp's another one of those Pokemon. Like, yo, it stinks. But yo, you evolve that thing. It's a monster. It's an absolute monster. I feel like all the best Pokemon are kind of like that. I feel like most of them are. Like Dratini uh, to Dragonite. It's really good. Togepi to Togekiss. And then you got Magikarp to Gyarados. Like, Gyarados, like, game in and game out is top tier. Game in and game out. It is just phenomenal for competitive, for playthroughs, all that good stuff. Like, it's really only weakness is electric. And if you just pair your team up well with electric, you, the thing is flying. The thing is just nuts. But again, electric will dump on it one shot. It's four times super effective to it. Do, 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 do. So usually when you're running him in a uh, competitive, you like to use like either like somebody with like lightning rod or something along those lines, or like uh, a ground type that you can just swap into. Yeah, we got a Wingle. I love me some Wingle. I love me some Pelper. Pelper is one of those Pokemon game in and game out that I want to throw on my team. But I can't because there's so many better flying and uh, and water options. There's just so many fly better flying and water options all around. So it's tough. It's really tough with them. But uh, we should be able to head over here and there should be a Pokeball over here. Might be a TM. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit of Pokeball. What, what we got cooking here? Ooh, a rare candy. I'll take a rare candy all day. I will take a rare candy all day. But let's get moving on to Candlelave City. It's really not that far. I think we have like, a couple more battles, but it's like, just right across the water. Shiny Pokemon right here. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine, yo, just shiny tentacle? That would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. My boy, I like how like Torterra does like a little hop. It's always your starter Pokemon. I don't know why they, they added that. But they just do like a random hop and it's kind of funny. But we're gonna keep moving on here over the water and then we should first Sailor. Uh, ch 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 hmm. I don't even know. I'm trying to guess a name. There's, there was already a Sailor name in. There was already Sailor Samson, Sailor Bill. Sailor Skylar over here. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. He drops a man tank over here. And this thing is also flying in water. And then we just first three flying in waters in a row. Gyarados, Wingle, and Man Tyke. That's a little weird because like you would not expect that, right? You would not expect flying in water to be like, like a typing that you see a lot of. But our Razor Leaf's just gonna fly through here, take that thing out, no problem whatsoever. And we all get some XP. Next Pokemon is going to be Gyarados, and you know we have to switch right into our brand new level 40 Toga thing. Level 40, who would have thought? Who would have thought? But I gotta start using Houndoom and Floats a little bit more, which I, I definitely will because we have uh, the next the next couple places we'll just be rocking out in front of ripping through. Especially Route 7, Houndoom's gonna get everything. It's all ice. And there's an ice gym too. Which is lovely. Which is real lovely. Shockwave's gonna fly through here, and yo, Toga Tick OP. Toga Tick OP. Get this thing on. Oh, yo, what you mean? <laughs> I was gonna say get this thing on out of here. He's gonna drop a nice little crunch and that's easy eats for my boy. And then you know what? We're gonna go for our aerial ace. Our nice lovely aerial ace that we now have on this Pokemon. And yo, that move looks sick! That move looks dope! Alright, that's pretty sick. I wasn't expecting that move to look like that. Happening gets another level. Yo, you gotta go in the box, happening. You gotta get on out of here. We don't want you here. We don't want you here, happening. But we can head right down here and little trainer right here. What do you want? Oh, yeah, never mind. That just goes with the thing. But he does give us flora stickers, which I do dig. And this is like an electric eye. And this grass right below me has Gastrodons in it, has Floatzels in it. And then when you hit post game, when you get the national decks, it will have Dittos in it. It's the only spot to find Dittos besides the underground. You can find them in the caves. In one of the caves, like the Dazzling Cave with all the crystal rocks. But overworld, if you want to try to catch yourself a good IV Ditto, this is the spot to do. So if you guys were looking for that, you're welcome. I got you. This guy's gonna throw out electric types. We got our lovely little ground Torterra. He's gonna be able to EQ and kind of just slap up on everything, even through the uh, Intimidate. But he only has one Pokemon who is now dead. Who is now dead? Yo, know, I cannot wait to verse the eighth gym with Torterra just dropping EQs left and right. In my stream playthrough, 
you guys want to follow my stream follow my stream name is on the layout link is down below but uh, on my stream uh, team I ended up picking up guard chop like late game and he just ran absolutely ran with stomping tantrum the eighth gym because it was electric he was just going mowing right through it he was mowing right through it but we finally make our way to Canlave city gyms have been easy we've just been making our way through it we'll probably do another gym in today's video we'll see but after this uh after this gym we start to get into like a little nitty-gritty story parts so we won't just be able to fly to the seventh gym i think it'll be a couple episodes before we actually hit up on the seventh gym but it's all good it's all good we gotta train our Pokemon out. We gotta get them higher levels. We gotta get after it. But finally to Canalave City. Canalave City. Love it. I love the music here. I really do like the music. But first things first, we gotta put happening away. I'm getting sick of this Pokemon. <laughs> it's going right in the box. It is going right in the box. Let's get him out of here. So yeah, happen. Get on out of here. We don't want you here. You have Mew and Raichu. What are these? Oh, I thought we had a judge function. You get that post game. You get the judge function post game. I was going to check what, what EVs do they have. What EVs do they have? But let's see up the squad. I am going to swap out the front spot for Houndoom. I think Houndoom is going to be a great little first guy. Let's see. I think I have Flamethrower on him. I do indeed. Swap him. Yo, Shiny gets me every time. Love how this thing is Shiny. And it's got great natures on it. I really do like the Pokemon. But let's get moving through Canlave. And yeah, I was going to say, I think Barry shows up here. Let's go, Barry. How you doing, boss man? But yeah, we're fighting him again. And didn't we just fight him? I think maybe last episode. Right? We fought him like very soon. It wasn't that long ago. But he's going to throw out Star Arabia as his first Pokemon. Does have Intimidate on it, right? But good thing. We're rocking Flamethrower. We're ready to rip off against it. Loving it. Star Arabia. That's a cool Pokemon. Let's see Star Raptor. Like, I like how like, see, see the top of its head? It's like forming into that red hair that Star Raptor has. I think it's cool how it's starting to form. And this thing has a quick call. Get out of my face, yo. What calls can come out here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. We might have to bring out our Floatzel here with Swift. Or, you know, Togetic can rip up on that thing with a Shockwave. Shockwave doesn't miss either. But Flamethrower is going to pop here and just KO it. Beautiful, yo. Houndoom getting after it. Getting after it, baby. Give me the XP. Who's the next Pokemon? It's going to be Heracross. You know we staying in, but this is actually a tough call because if this thing hits us with a fighting move, and he probably outspeeds us. We're going to be dead, but I'm going to trust my Houndoom here. Let's go. Houndoom clutching up, baby. Good old Houndoom. Later, Heracross. Heracross is a beast. The Elite Four, the first Elite Four guy is a bug type, and he has a Heracross that's a monster. Outspeeds most and just rips through your team. You got to watch out for that. Weasel's going to be next Pokemon. Let's switch into Torterra. Let's switch. Oh, hit B. Come on, man. Even though it's not a Floatzel yet, it should be a Floatzel. I don't know why he doesn't have the single file. But we should be fine. I'm just going to go straight for a bite. Does Bleasel outspeed us? No. We just don't want bite comes through. Chipping it down to half. And we get a flinch too. So hopefully this next bite can actually finish it off. Should have been able to, but we are intimidated. But there it is. Weasel gone. Houndoom is just ripping through Barry. No problem. Getting all that XP. Loving it. Torterra is about to be level 40 after this one. My is going to come out here. We're going to swap into our lovely little Floatzel. Floatzel. Loving Floatzel. Floatzel is definitely like... One of the coolest Pokemon in this gym. So sick. Look at that. Floatzel's so tough. You cannot hate on a Floatzel. Monferno comes out. I think Monferno does have a cool design too. For a set, for a second gen or a, a second evolution. A mid evolution you should call it. But Aqua Jet does not KO here. And dude, we definitely need a what's it called. We definitely need a better water move. Cannot wait to learn some better physical attack water moves. Such as Waterfall. Once we get Waterfall on this thing, we're going to be cooking. He's gonna be cooking. He's gonna withdraw Monferno. Go into Roselia, Rosarine, Roselia over here. So Roselia is gonna pop out here, soak up this Aqua Jet easily. And I swear, if this thing has Poison Point on it, I'm gonna cry a little bit. Okay, cool. I think it still might, but we're just gonna go for a bite. Actually, what's better? We're gonna go for a bite. Bite's physical attacking. It'll do a little bit more damage for my Floatzel. Big old damage pops out there, and this thing's gonna go for a sweet scent <laughs> and lower my evasiveness. Isn't that what it does? Like, that move might be one of the worst in the game to lower evasiveness. Like, if my evasiveness isn't, like, risen or being raised, then, like, you're, you're gonna hit me. So, lowering it really doesn't do much for you. Tortara gets that level 40. Loving it. And then he's gonna sell his final Pokemon, which is gonna be Monferno. And we're just gonna Aqua Jet into it. Barry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is just a clean sweep by me. I'm rolling out with your squad. Your squad stinks. Actually, your Monferno should be a Bob. 
I think they should start doing that in Pokemon games. Like, their Pokemon should be evolved. Like, if, if they hit that level where they where they evolve, they should be evolved. Like, I have my Pokemon evolved. You should evolve your Pokemon. It should be like an even trade kind of thing, you know? Definitely should be like that. But Barry goes down. We get the XP. Floats to the level 39. And Houndoom's only one a little bit under level compared to the other one. So, luckily, it is Steel Gym. We're going to be able to rip up some XP for him. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, this guy says stuff, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yo, go beat that sixth gym for me. I'm like, yeah, yo, we got this. So now, does that say it on my map to just go beat the sixth gym? Yeah. See, I've been saying, yo, the next gyms are just straight runs. We legit just go straight into the town, beat the gym, and then we out to the next town. When we make our way to this cool gym, I kind of like this gym. We are going to burst all the trainers here. We'll beat up the gym in today's video, which is awesome. But uh, I do like the design of it. It's like we're on like a... Like a... a a working platform like you build a sash scraper with all the uh, the steel beams and everything and you go up and down it's pretty cool i do like it but black belt rook here i think they do have a few fighting pokemon that they'll send out but steel is gonna fly here luckily we do have a nice little special attack for fire pokemon because you know this thing will be able to soak up some fire attacking shots it will be able to do that but imagine if shiny pokemon got boosted in like stats i think that would be broken because then everybody would be hunting for them for competitive play but i do think having shiny pokemon in in the game is such a cool concept it's just cool all around this thing's gonna drop an ice fang we're gonna soak that one up all day ice fang easy eats baby and we're just gonna drop a payback because you know we have to do one damage onto this thing and i'd rather use a move that we don't really use and waste it but payback comes out here steelix goes down and we're gonna get some good xp because this thing is decent level and evo and evolution i'm doomed to the next level 1073 i'll take it all day i'll take it all day and give me your money and give me your money, Black Belt Ricky. Yes, sir. 1,056. We racking in the cash. Let's move on to the next one. I know the pathway, but I just want to, like, first everybody. I'm pretty sure it's the third one right there. We just roll off from there. Which I think we're going to go into anyway because there's no other trainers. But Worker Gary comes over here. And he's going to send out Onyx. And this is where it gets tough. When they start throwing out rock Pokemon and stuff, it's like, come on, man. This is a steel gym. A steel gym. I don't even know, is it, I think it's steel, but, like, it seems like it's, like, half rock, half steel, and half fighting, but it just seems like all those combined, you know? Bites can come out, can we get a flinch? We did. And we're just gonna go for another bite. <laughs> I really don't want to switch out my hounding. Give me another flinch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready? Third, third flinch in a row. Here we go. Bite. Hey, yo, give me another flinch. Oh, he finally goes. He drops off an iron tail, but that's easy eats. That is easy eats all day. And we're just gonna bite again. We're just gonna bite again. Yo, it's weird how Onyx evolves. Like, it's not very effective to fire, but when it evolves, it gets super effective. That's a little weird, right? A little weird, but it's all good. It's all good. Toby take the 41. Loving it. And we take out Worker Gary. It's all right, Worker Gary. Gary, get him next time, buddy. I feel like all the trainers inside, like, gyms are just, like, people who never, like, who didn't pursue or like work hard enough to become Pokemon champions, so they're settling for like their daytime job as a Pokemon trainer. Oh no, it's not the third one. Why do I think it was the third one? Is it the last one? Let's see. It is the last one. So the last one is the path right here. And you dip down here, and then you go start doing some more trainers. Howdy, how you doing? I knew it was one of the last uh two, but I really did think it was the third one. I really did think it was the third one. Ace trainer Caesar over here. Throw out something that I could just rip on. So you go with, ooh, a little Scroopy. See, it's like, a, it's, this is a weird gym. I honestly couldn't tell you what, what typing it is. It's just weird, right? It's a steel gym, I'm pretty sure. But like, dude, they're just throwing out a bunch of other things because there's not that many steel types here. But like in, a, in other gyms, it's like, dude, if that's gym, that's all they're throwing out. That's all they're throwing out. But Scroopy down for the count. Sorry, buddy. Get him next time. Even though Scroopy's a cool Pokemon. I think that's a cool Pokemon in this gen. When it evolves into Drapion. And here comes Steelix. Here comes Steelix. Steelix. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully, you're not sturdy because I really want to get moving on with this. Let's see it. Flamethrower popping. Get this thing on out my face. We don't want it here. We do not want it here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Steelix down for the count. And we take the XP and leave. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But I cannot wait to fill out the team. Like I said, yo, this team is so dope. This team is so dope. But we've been grinding this playthrough. We've been grinding this playthrough. You guys are enjoying. You guys already know the deal. Leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, you are out of your mind, yo. Hit that big red subscribe button for your boy. Hit that big red subscribe button for your boy. But we're just going to keep on moving here. And this path is not the right way, I believe. I think it's just, yeah, dead end. Wasting my time. 
wasted my time. Let's head up here. And then versus trainer should be a trainer over here. Yeah, so this is the right path for you to follow the trainer, I believe. And you go from there. But this one's like different from the last gym because last gym we didn't even have to fight any trainers and we just walked right through it, which I thought was hilarious. But this one, we have to roll through. We have to face off against a few trainers. But he's going to throw out Onyx here and I think I'm just going to bite it to death. I really don't feel like swapping. I'm going to hound him get all the XP, you know? Actually, what do we think is going to do more damage? Special attack? Flamethrower? Let's see. Special attack, flamethrower, or bite? I think bite will, but we'll see. Never mind. Never mind. Yo, this thing ripped. What was that? Yo, what? That thing ripped. Yeah, special attacking is the way to go with Steelix and Onyx. They just have no special defense, so that's what we're just going to pop off with. Yeah, see? I was using a bite on that one Onyx. Yeah, flamethrower is the way to go. Even if it's not very effective, just use a special attacking move on these Pokemon. Oh my lord. I thought maybe we would do like half at most. Bar just whoop, went right down. Went right down. There we go. Take out that guy. Onward. And I think we have one more trainer before the uh, before the gym leader. And it is uh, Black Belt Ricky again. <laughs> Black Belt Ricky with no fighting types. Maybe we'll throw out a fighting type in this one. Let's see. He has two. Two Pokemon. That's not, dude, what is up? Like, Do you guys just hot recruit everybody who has an Onyx? They like bring this guy in. They're like, hey. What makes you so special that you should be a part of this gym? He's like, well, I have an Onyx. You're hired. <laughs> Get on board. You're hired, baby. He's like, all right. <laughs> what if there's going to pop here? Should be able to just dump on it. Yep. Get him on out my face. Get him on out of here. Onyx steps down. And we're going to take that XP. Not too much. Just throw out Steelix. Yes. Steelix coming out here. How many flamethrowers do I have left? Because I might not have any others. I don't have any others, and we have seven. And I think we should save the rest for the gym. I'm not going back down to heal up my Pokemon. It ain't happening. But we should be fine. We have Torterra with EQ. And Torterra, you know, he, he be ripping. He be ripping. And a lot of these Pokemon are physical attacking, so we can soak up the shots with that as well. Well, there we go. Black Belt David, out my face. Go home. Go tell your wife that you lost to a kid. We'll take this path down and then this way and i think this next one will lead us straight up we might actually have one more trainer we go this way and then across yeah one more trainer i think and we are actually going to swap into our floaty floaty get up on there get up in there floaty should be able to rip here as well especially if they're just throwing out onyxes and stuff like floats just should be able to just aqua jet aqua jet aqua jet and just tee off on them one pokemon here is it another steelix or onyx oh well, look at this dude throwing me a curveball Azumarill. What is this thing's water and fairy? It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but we'll just go for a bite here. I want to go for a bite. That was kind of stupid, but happens. Happens. Iron Tail's going to come out. This thing's ripping my Iron Tail. Well, that's easy to eat, so. I guess because this thing learns Iron Tail, he's just like, oh, we could throw him in the Iron Gym. <laughs> and there's a nice little Swift. I wonder if what's called will do more damage. The waterfall's gonna pop from him. He probably has huge power. He's gonna keep dropping swifts on this thing. Level 33. Zumarill's an absolute monster. I love me some Zumarill action. Iron Tail gonna fly through it. And he connects another one. A little whack. I don't like that one bit. They're connecting all these Iron Tails. Is there a low accuracy move? Swift comes out. We need one more. And this thing's gonna waterfall. That should be easy eats, baby. Bring us down to red. We'll heal you up. We'll heal you up before the battle. Don't worry, it. Floatsy. This was the last Pokemon I was expecting. An Azumarill. Like, what you mean? What do you mean, Azumarill, in a Steel Gym? Steel is super effective to Fairy. It's weird. It's weird. It's not super effective to Azumarill because it's part water type, but... In theory, that's just it just don't make sense. But, there we go. Finish off that battle. Let's go. Let's swap him back to uh, Houndoom, because I want to lead Houndoom for the battle. But I want to restore this guy. Make him a little bit of HP. We gotta get ready super potions. We have them. Let's use them up. And then restore our lovely little houndoom here. Restore. I gotta stop saying houndoom. It's lovely little shiny houndoom. You guys know that already. But uh, make your way towards this path. This should bring us down. And then to the left should bring us all the way up. Yep. Once you see the red one, go all the way up. And there we go. We are sitting at the gym leader. Let's do it. Let's beat him. I think he has a cool style to him. 
He's a nice little shovel. He looks like he just got out of the coal mines. He's got a nice little rugged look. I think it's sick. And he has the cape. And his name fits it perfectly. Like, Byron? Come on. That's a money name for this guy. Like, his look fits perfectly with his name. But I think he has four Pokemon, I should say. Maybe three? Three Pokemon it is. Thought four. Thought four. And he's going to send out Bronzor. I think Steelix is one of them. And I'm trying to think of the last one. He might have a Bronzong. He might have a Bronzong. It might be Bronzor, Bron Bronzong, and Steelix. But Steelix might be second. I think Bronzong might be last. But level 36. Level 36 Bronzor over here. And this might be able to take it out. Because, again, it is special attacking. Yeah, dude. Dude, special attack and fire Pokemon are awesome. They're amazing up against Steel types. They just rip through them. They just rip through them. Take our XP. We out of here. And next Pokemon is Steelix, like I said. And I believe it is Bronzong. I believe it is Bronzong. Bronzong's an absolute monster. I love that Pokemon. Honestly, I did not like him when I was a kid. I was just like, yo, this thing's stupid. It's a floating little steel. I don't even know what the heck it is. But I didn't like him as a kid. And then when I started getting older, started getting the competitive Pokemon, I'm just like, dude, this thing is a beast. This thing is amazing. Oh, this thing is EQ. Brother, Pokemon I'm trying to level up. Getting ripped by an EQ because this thing has sturdy. Because it has sturdy. Oh, we cannot. Ooh. Ooh, we might have to we might have to revive we might have to revive hound him here we cannot hit a bronze on with an eq it has levitate ability it has levitate ability we are going to use whirlpool just oh come on man <laughs> i was gonna say we, we are going to use whirlpool just to take this thing out but of course he what's it called of course he uses a full restore whirlpool's gonna fly through here still doing a decent amount of damage there hey why didn't it make the super effective noise you guys not hear that as well? You should like to hear the, 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 the noise. But well, Aqua Jet will fly through here. Pretty much finish this one off. I think it will. No, it will not. Defense bulk. Defense is bulk, man. He's gonna set up a sandstorm. That's actually very smart for a steel a steel gym. Very, very smart for a steel gym. But Whirlpool will do more because of special attacking. And I think that's what we're gonna do for uh Bronzon. We're gonna trap the thing into a whirlpool. It'll be very beneficial to us. Because look, it does a decent amount of damage. It's like a little burn. Like a little burn. And I'm going to go into yet another Whirlpool in case he full restores. He does not. And he avoids attack. What you mean? What you mean he avoids attack? EQ's going to pop here. That's a big damage. We have to revive our Houndoom. We're going to have to revive our Houndoom. Whirlpool is going to finish off this thing. But before our uh, Pulitzer goes down, I definitely want to trap this thing into a Whirlpool. It's going to be my play. It's going to be my play. Oh, Houndoom doesn't get the levels. Because he's dead. He's dead. Torterra to 41. Loving it. And he is going to send out... Oh, it's Bastardon. Okay, never mind. We don't need Houndoom. We don't need him. It is Bastardon. Totally forgot. This thing has amazing defense. Amazing defense. Very cool Pokemon. But we have EQ. And EQ should be able to rip, rip up on him. Morpool's going to fly here. And this just doesn't make the sound. It just doesn't make the sound when it hits it. They mess up with like the coding. And of course, this thing's Rocket Thunderbolt. And we get a free Focus Ash, but Sandstorm is going to take us out. Sandstorm is going to take us out. Technically, it wasn't free focus hatch. It's just what the game has to offer. It's like sometimes your Pokemon can tough it out. Which I don't really like. I do not really like. But let's bring out Torterra here. We do have EQ. And I don't think EQ would take it out. But still, it should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. And I get after this Pokemon. Let's do it. EQ, fine through. Actually, we probably could have went for our like Mega Drain or something. Do that thing. And yeah, EQ does dump on that thing. He is defensive bulk. But yeah, Torterra is a monster. He's an absolute monster. Bastardon goes down. Get him on out my face. Get him on out my face. And give me my next gym badge. And we get a cool TM. We do get Iron Tail on that, which is great for physical attacking. And it hits hard. The only problem with it is it's very low in accuracy. But so for like competitive, I'm building a T-Tar. And I'm throwing that on him. Just have a little bit of coverage on him. Steel is very nice to have on the team, especially if you do not have a Pokemon that is Steel type. It is just great to have. It's just lovely to have. But... There we go. We take him out, and now we get moving on. Now we get moving on. Now we get stickers from him. We get the cool stickers, and there's the TM91s, which, like I said, is Iron Tail. Cool, cool, cool. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, no, it's Flash Cannon. Why, why are you thinking it's Iron Tail? It's Flash Cannon, which is actually really good. Flash Cannon's great. I have it on my Empoleon when I did a playthrough on my stream team. But we're going to make our way all the way over here, and then dip back down. And then we start to kind of, like, form a little story. We start to form a little story, but I got to go heal up my Pokemon before we kind of trigger the cutscenes and all that good stuff. But I think Barry's going to be, yeah, I was going to say, I think Barry's like waiting for us here. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. Blah, 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 blah. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boobidi, bobbidi. 
we talk he says hey yo jeans meet me in the library i say yo hold up i'm a god of a pokemon trainer i gotta heal up my pokemon that's my first priority over here healing up these pokemon but then we gotta go to the library trigger cutscene i think barry and rowan are there i think those two are just hanging out you know doing pokemon stuff and things but we gotta heal up the squad hounding torterra toga kick toga kick toga tick and floatzel I feel like all throughout this playthrough, I've been calling Togetic by the wrong name. I've been saying Togekiss, Togepi, just messing up its uh, pronunciation, all that good stuff. But I like having it run around with me. I think it's very cool. I, I, I dig it. I dig that thing just a little, little flying behind me. Considering it's kind of tiny, so it's just fun to have. It's just fun to have, even though I should probably have like my shiny Houndoom, you know, run around with me. Togetic is just lovely. But we make our way upstairs. Barry's like, hey, Jeans, we need to talk. And now he's going to have an intervention with us. Like, hey, Jeans. We, we gotta ask you, you gotta, you gotta stop teeing off and uh, giving the work to all these gym gym leaders. They had enough of your crap, man. They had enough of it. And and quite frankly, we had enough of your crap too, Jeans. I'm getting real sick of it. You're gonna have to knock it off. <laughs> we had a little intervention with this guy, but no. In, in reality, he talks about uh, the mysteries of the lakes and how like Mesper and Azelf and Uxie are like up to stuff and everything and how Team Galactic's taking them, all that good stuff. But it's more so just to bring on the story and like kind of develop it a little bit more. But that's pretty much it because after the next gym, we can catch the legendary. So they're starting to form the legendary story and kind of just trying to get us into that. So when the next gym does happen, we're right into the story. But there is one more thing we want to do before we actually finish off today's video, which is actually pretty cool. Today's video is decent length, pretty much normal. I thought it was going to be a little bit shorter, but nah, it's, it, it actually might be. Because we are recording this about, we're almost at 35 pretty normal but I know I, I did hear a few of you guys say that you guys like the lens I feel like a few of you guys said you didn't like the lens or like you like the lens and a few of you guys said that you wanted longer so I don't know what I'm gonna do I think we're gonna just keep it how it is I don't mind recording longer if everybody wants to but I, I kind of like I kind of like this lens it's not too too long it's not too short but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but we can now actually uh Take that ship over to Iron Islands. If you guys want to get Lucario or a shiny stone for your Pokemon, that is where you want to go. So that is why we're going to head to Iron Island because you know Togetic needs a shiny stone to evolve. So we're going to start heading over there and get after that. But uh, in the story mode, we actually have to head towards uh, Lake Valor. We actually have to head towards Lake Valor to go to the feed up on Team Galactic. So that's going to be a next episode thing where we head over to Team Galactic and kind of get after it that way. But I should have brought repels would be where it's at but yo i've always loved that cutscene as a kid on the ds well you make your way to iron island and actually if you have like a rod i believe you can catch like a cool fish here. i believe cool fish is catchable and if you want to bring out my item finder because i have a feeling that there's an item here why do i have a feeling that there's an item here i don't know why i just have a feeling show it to me let's do it bonk bonk is there a dot oh yeah blow see yo i knew it it should be on this rock Max Ether, yo. We've been looking for Ethers, man. We didn't really have any Ethers for us. But what's in this house? It's in this little cabin on this random island. Oh, it's just a bed. And I think we can just heal a Pokemon there. Oh, that's pretty cool. They just threw a little healing station there in case you need it. You dig it. And then if you make your way all the way up here, you can make your way into inside of Iron Island. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in next episode, we are going to be taking on Iron Island... Grabbing the shiny stone, evolving Togetic, and then going to Lake Bower to take on Team Galactic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.